Hello friends, I am Greens for the day. We are getting started with the new series on the ISTQB Advanced Test Automation Engineer and this tutorial will be guiding you with the Test Automation Engineer certification based on the ISTQB Advanced Syllabus. But first of all, I would like to uh, just make sure that every one of you around the world is safe under this pandemic attack of the coronavirus and make sure you are well isolated and stay safe in your houses so that we can look forward for a better future in the upcoming era or else uh, we will have a lot of losses you know across the world and we might lose a lot of hopes and that energy which we require to regain the economy as well as the spirit to uh, upbring the technology across the world so it's just my request to all of you stay safe and keep learning and keep exploring about a lot of new things all right team so we as i told you we're getting started with a new tutorial series here thanks for your votes on the poll and based on the poll uh, we finally nominated the test automation engineer which got around 69 percent of votes to pick up as the new tutorial series so we'll be having a basic introduction video on this particular tutorial to understand about this uh, certification of ISTQB. So very first thing is of course my introduction. Those who are coming back to the channel after a lot of other certifications, you know about me, but let me just tell you for the new viewers that I'm HP and ISTQB certified with 11 years of experience uh, in training and delivery across the world. I've delivered a lot of sessions across the globe and namely I'm into a lot of tool consultation, process consultation, for a lot of organizations across the globe, which generally deals with the implementation of the tool, deployment of the tool, or it comes to the test estimation, or even talking about the project orientation or process improvement, a lot many other things related to that. So I'll be here to explain you a lot of things about the certification, which will help you prepare well for the examination and clear the examination. Further, when you're talking about the certification, it is an advanced level certification for the test automation engineers across the globe. So we have a standard syllabus for that and we'll be looking into more detail after this tutorial. So about the examination, of course, we know about ISTQB. To come to this level, you have been through your foundation level certification, so you already know what ISTQB basically does, what is ISTQB all about. So. Uh, International Software Testing Qualification Board, and they have several other certifications also. So, of course, let's talk about the certification here. If you look at this diagram here on the screen, these are the various certifications which are being conducted by the ISTQB board. And we are actually through with foundation level, so you know a lot of things about ISTQB now. And we will be getting on the right side here. This is where we have Test Automation Engineer, which is considered to be one of the advanced level certification if you chose to move to the automation certification soon after your foundation level. So let's get back to the thing here and we understand, of course, we have local body organizing the exams for you, so you don't have to worry. You can just follow the similar steps what you took for your foundation to appear in the same. Who can appear? Of course, the people who are well understanding, uh, have a well understanding of test automation which is not going to be practical. You don't have to be worried about any particular tool. But yes, you must know the theoretical concepts of implementing automation within a project. That what is automation? How automation is being executed? What are the steps? What are the prerequisites involved in automating a test? What is a test script? And a lot of architectures which are involved in preparing the hybrid or any kind of framework which you talk with respect to automation. What's the cost? The cost remains same, uh, maybe for different country, the prices may vary depending on the country's specific charges. But in India specifically, you have the same cost for all the certification, be it foundation, be it advanced, anything. Validity, it remains for lifetime, so you don't have to really worry about that. It's similar for everything. Further, when you talk about the examination in more detail, if you're talking about the prerequisite, of course, the foundation level certification becomes a prerequisite for you. If you are not foundation level certified, I would recommend that you go to the foundation certification first, clear that examination, and then you can look forward for this particular series. Uh, we do have tutorials for foundation level. If you're looking ahead, you can follow the channel and go to the playlist to look for the foundation level certification. 
The exam tab will be as always objective. You don't have anything subjective here as well. But yeah, probably you will have more number of options as it is an advanced level which is being uh, you know, given as a part of this examination. You will be having 40 questions as usual to foundation, but the mark or scoring system will be different than foundation. There it was 40 marks, here it will be 75 marks for this examination. Duration will also be allocated to you additionally with another 5, 30 minutes compared to foundation, so you will have 90 minutes to answer these 40 questions worth 75 marks. Schedule, again, it depends on the local body conducting your examination that how frequently they conduct the examination on this specific tutorial. Location and venue, again, it depends on your local body, which will address you with that, how you can take up the examination that is through on-site, uh, you know, offline examination or online examination, so that your country can decide on that. The passing criteria remains the same, 65%, which comes to 49 marks out of 75, to pass the examination. More on that, we are talking about the syllabus here. We will be having eight chapters. Don't be scared by looking at the eight chapters here because so far we understood only about five or six chapters. But here we'll be having eight chapters, but they are small enough to handle together. Just because they have different context, we have separated in different chapters. So we have chapter one as introduction and objectives for test automation. Chapter two, preparing for test automation. Chapter 3, the generic test automation architecture. Chapter 4, deployment of risk and contingencies. Chapter 5, test automation and matrices used in that. Chapter 6, transitioning manual testing to an automated environment. Chapter 7, verifying the test automation solutions. And Chapter 8, as continuous improvement. So if you see all together, we are not talking about any kind of executions involved here, but yes, there are a lot of things which you should know before you can actually automate a test. This would be really helpful for those who are trying to bring automation to their organization, probably like you'd never had automation before, and you want to bring automation or implement automation for the first time, then this series would be really helpful for you as well to understand how automation actually works and what are those things which you need to have before procuring an automation tool or looking at the maturity of the organization to understand if the tool can be used within your organization or your organization can adopt automation or not. So putting it all together, this is what everything, what we'll be covering in this particular series. So I wish you very all the best for the preparation on the certification. We'll be having uh, almost daily tutorial on this particular series as usual or just like the previous tutorial series and stay tuned for upcoming tutorials. So till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. I'll be back with the very first tutorial of this series tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.